welcoming your class show host, Mr. Jonathan Lavin! Oh, you're beautiful tonight. Wow, who organized all of this? This is spectacular. I am so impressed. I mean, what a setup this is then, right? I mean, I had no idea at all this was going to happen. I, I, just, I just wish I had prepared something, you know? I mean, one minute, I'm drinking at Shell Cafe, and, and the next, here I am. I mean, let me tell you something. That little bartender, Jose, he's a great guy. He, he makes a mean margarita. I mean, I'm, I'm actually quite tipsy right now. I mean, I probably shouldn't even be allowed up here. To be honest, it's not my fault, though. I mean, it's like they say, if you've been drinking and you're handed a microphone, you can't be held accountable for what you say. So really, it's not on me, whatever I say, whomever I offend, that's on you guys, okay? <laughs> Specifically, Dr. Patiles, I mean, Panaitis. He knew, uh, I was very forthcoming that I was drinking. He knew that. <laughs> All right, enough of my horrible Anchorman impression. <laughs> Is everyone excited? Woo! Yeah! Good right. evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second year class show. Now, before we begin, I would like to set some ground rules. Do we have first years in the house tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be too excited about that either. <laughs> Guys, unfortunately, Dean Perlmutter, he couldn't be here tonight. So, so please, put away the pitchforks and the hot pots. Just put them below the seat, okay? Now, I tried really, really hard to get him to come, okay? And I was actually just talking to him, and he wants me to tell you that he's got some meetings, and, or, or he's got some prior engagements. I mean, ugh. All right, I'm gonna be straight with you. Guys, he's outside in the bathroom. He's just bawling. He's, he's got mascara running down his face. He's, he's eating ice cream by the gallon. And don't kill the messenger, but he wanted me to tell you, and I quote, you can have pass fail, but go screw yourselves from the fail anyways. <laughs> No, but, but seriously, I did actually talk to him, and after he cleaned off the mascara, um, he, I told him, you know, listen, I'm, I'm talking on behalf of the first years, okay? So don't worry, guys, I got your back wherever the first years are, okay? Yeah, there you are, okay. I had your back when I was talking to him. Okay, and I, and I told him that, that you guys didn't want him to make some rash decision that he was pressured into, okay? You wanted him to take to keep with Muslim tradition. I told him, I said, I said, Dr. Perlman, you gotta keep with Muslim tradition and take at least, at least another 30 years <laughs> to set up dean's lunches and town halls to discuss the potential possibility of theoretically in the future, maybe considering to start a conversation about changing second year to pass fail. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> now back to the reason we're all here tonight, the class of 2018. Yeah. So what happened this, this past year, this crazy life we call into? Well, we've studied, and we've studied, and we've touched some genitals, <laughs> and we even learned how to administer the genital exam. <laughs> but some of us took it a little more seriously than others. For instance, did Kayvon really need to practice it on himself before he came to the show? <laughs> no, but he's a good student and he likes the smell. <laughs> Let's talk about the summer. If you're like me, you'll get a sudden nostalgia. Probably something similar to Kayvon's a couple minutes ago. <laughs> a tickling of the prostate. I ran to Dean, to Dean Chapman during the summer, and we spoke briefly about my summer research experience. After I told her about the awful, terrible, unspeakable things my PIA had me do. I mean, guys, things that are scarring, things that I couldn't sit down for like a few months in front of a computer. I'm, I'm of course talking about chart review, okay? Excuse me. And after I told her about all the horror I experienced, she laughed and replied, and this is, this is completely true, oh man, well good luck, I'm going to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, at the time, I was extremely jealous of Dean Chung for getting to travel with her family during the summer. 
because I just learned that Dean Viscoso had scheduled the mandatory orientation for the Friday afternoon before the last weekend of the last true summer of our entire lives, okay? Viscoso stole that last Friday of our last summer like like Alex stealing the last pizza pizza from a starving Ethiopian shop. <laughs> it's just wrong, and we both know neither can help themselves. <laughs> but guys, at least Wilson is extremely good about collecting feedback and responding in a timely manner, okay? There's no way they would do something like that to us again. Like having a mandatory orientation on the Friday before 30. <laughs> but our class is strong. We can handle it. We conquered research. We overcame farm, barely. <laughs> of course, the both taught us about drugs and drove us to drugs. <laughs> but it wasn't all crack. Perhaps with, <laughs> perhaps with low paramide, Kevin Lee wouldn't have to run out of every test. That's right, Kevin. We all know where you go. It's got number two. Without farm, Kevin would have never learned about Sylvanto. And Erica wouldn't look so satisfied sitting next to you. <laughs> Oh my god, I just, I just broke it, but I meant to say that, oh, he's not sitting next to you. He, he's not taking me. Okay. Let, let's move on, okay? Then, then we enter hell. CPR block. A series of courses that almost killed me, but also taught the skills necessary to save my life. I went into cardiac arrest pretty much before every exam. And if it weren't for the sweet lips of Ski J resuscitating me, I would have never made it. <laughs> but speaking of a bad taste in my mouth, beans. <laughs> Seriously, third years. You just had to make beans a longitudinal course. Thank you so, so much. I mean, I was just telling Ben how without beans, I probably would have slept too much for your CBO <laughs> Each extra test, well, guys, it's like getting to celebrate Christmas every two months. If Santa was a thug who took a bat to your knees after taking a dump in the sky. <laughs> I hate you, babies. <laughs> Excuse me, okay, that's, that's unfair. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't mean that. I don't, I don't hate your entire class. Just everyone except Robert Wayne. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Robert Wang, or better known to our class as RSW, is our Moses. He parted the Red Sea of Obi Nine with his Anki decks. <laughs> he, is, he is our Jesus, sacrificing himself for our sins of procrastination. He's the creator of lecture specific Anki decks that have made it possible for certain individuals to drop medical school. Oh my god. Certain individuals to drop medical school for two months to focus on the most important of life events. The class show. That's right. That's right. I love you, Robert. Where are you? Seriously, I'll, I'll come and see you after you this. <laughs> and I love my class. Okay? While second year can be rough, and we often go weeks to months without seeing each other, our Facebook group has allowed us to keep in touch and our fingers on the pulse of our class, and sometimes in other places. <laughs> Damn it, Kayvon, not in here! <laughs> Anyways, moving on, I will now regale you with some of this year's Facebook highlights. <laughs> <laughs> After, after our farm exam on September 10th, Greg wrote, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck indeed, Greg. <laughs> fuck indeed. <laughs> uh, Andrea Soares angrily posted during class, why are we not saving these questions for break? Followed by, maybe if sushi wasn't talking while the guy answers these questions, maybe you wouldn't have so many other ones. <laughs> Travis then quipped, and on this day, shots were fucked. <laughs> and in case anyone forgot the side effects of substantial choline, our own OSR was there to remind us using a simple, elegant mnemonic she made up. Suck, 
My, 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 big, huge penis. <laughs> I, won't, I won't elaborate, but we will now forever associate suboxone choline with blowjobs. Now we all know why Lucas gets so aroused by anesthesia. <laughs> Lucas, hands where I can see. <laughs> Speaking of huge penises, Dr. Brett. <laughs> oh, guys, Jesus Christ, get your heads out of the gutter. Radhika, contain yourself. <laughs> Dr. Red, a wonderful teacher and my own faculty preceptor, taught us all how to sexually, I mean successfully, administer a male and female genital exam. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the entire exam was, it was pretty traumatizing. I mean, maybe not for Radhika, but I'm sure most of you felt uncomfortable. <laughs> I just felt butthurt by the whole situation. So I decided to ask the rest of our class how they felt about the rectal and followed with the exam. I asked Jane Dalton, who said it reminded him of his old Dartmouth days. And then told me, and then told me about an amazing one-time opportunity for a discounted Catherine subscription. <laughs> I asked Tori, and she said, well, uh, I think I may have lost my keys in there. Dylan Newbold told me that if Bernie Sanders was rightly elected president, the government would give you as many rectal exams as you can handle. <laughs> Dylan, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't socialism about spreading the wealth and the cheeks? <laughs> I asked Paolo, and I actually asked Paolo, and he said his SP for the pelvic exam didn't need any lube when it was his turn. <laughs> that handsome bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, please, everyone. When I asked our MER, Jake told me that he's going to poll the class about our feelings on Facebook and send an opt in thank you letter to each individual SP. So keep an eye out for that. So I wanted to know how the first years felt about this upcoming physical exam session. So I asked Maria Schwab, but she couldn't tell me too much, but she did want to borrow some dish soap. <laughs> I even asked some faculty members. I mean, last night, I tried to reach out to Dr. Abenshine. But guys, he's still busy grading our cardio <laughs> Now, back to the class of 2018, the work that they've done, it's incredible. I really do think it's another exceptional year for class show videos. So, enough of my monologue. Please put your hands together for the best class show that's ever been made. Again, the class of 2018. <laughs> Guys, I forgot one thing. Before we start the videos, I need to let everyone know that while the first year class show was a huge success, Ben, Ben and I did receive some complaints that was often too crude and inappropriate. So we tried to respond and censor ourselves accordingly. Hopefully you don't find the videos too safe and politically correct, but the very last thing we want to do is push the boundaries or make anyone feel at all uncomfortable, okay? This is a safe space. And I just really hope that this reflects how much Ben and I value your criticism, okay? <laughs>